Today, today is September 13th, 2022. My name is Joe Todd. This is an interview with Tammy Martin in Oklahoma City. Ma'am, where were you born? I was born at Tinker Air Force Base. I don't get very far. <laughs> and when's your birthday? 627-62. Who was your father? Uh, Thomas Martin. And your mother? Do you need her maiden name? Yes. Or Alice Owen. Alice Owens? Mm hmm Alice Carolyn Owen. Okay. Owen or Owens? Owen. Just oh, one. Okay. Just okay. one Owen. Did you go through school in Oklahoma City? I did. Most of the time. There were two years we had to move because I had cerebral palsy, and they, San Antonio had the best place okay. for that, the base. So okay. I moved there so we could go to Randolph. Yes. And what year did you graduate high school? 1980. 1980. Mm -hmm. From Midwest City. Midwest City. Midwest City. Okay. Who was your favorite teacher? You know, this sounds really strange. My favorite teacher was actually when I was in Randolph. We went there for two years, and her name was Miss McDermott. And I always remember her because I wore braces day and night because I was born with cerebral palsy. And she got me up in front of the, which would be a no-no today, <laughs> but she got up, me up in front of the class and explained that this was going to help me walk better mm -hmm. and had all the kids ask me any kind of questions they wanted to. Okay. And so instead of me being an outcast, I was, I was the popular kid. It was really, <laughs> yes. it was really special. So your father's in the Air Force. Mm-hmm. How yes. many years was he in the Air Force? He was in over 20. 20. 21, okay. I believe. Now, you were born with cerebral palsy? Mm -hmm. What is cerebral palsy? Well, to be honest, it's part of your brain really doesn't work, and you have to retrain other parts. You've always got cerebral palsy, but you retrain to do different things with okay. it. And I was so blessed to have my family, and I went to therapy three days a week, and... Um, we all just worked together as a team, and that kind of helped prepare me for Chloe and some of the others down the road. Now, so. how does cerebral palsy affect the body? What it does is um, there's just certain muscle movements and things that I still can't do, mm -hmm. but you just learn to train and do other things. So it's a neurological? Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, so cerebral palsy affects the, the brain, the nerves in the uh -huh. brain? Mm -hmm. What does it do to the nerves? Do you know? You know, I'm really not sure. Okay, okay. I just know that uh, there's a lot of things. My feet were turned in so much that I'd just fall over. My, mm -hmm. I didn't learn to lock, walk for a long time and okay. went to therapy three days a week, um, three or four hours a day. My mom took me and drugged the sisters <laughs> along because my dad was in Vietnam, so yes. she had us most of the time by herself. Yes, yes. Now, is cerebral palsy hereditary? They say it's it's not, but they can't prove that. Okay. They really don't know. Okay. But it's um, you know, when Chloe was born, it just kind of it just makes you wonder about a lot of different yes. things. But nothing's been proven yet. Okay. Now, how does cerebral palsy affect you? For me, I was so fortunate that I did not have it really, really bad. I mean, I had to wear braces day and night, but I could speak. I didn't have any trouble eating. A lot of a lot of kids can't even do that, yeah. and are in wheelchairs. So I was very very fortunate, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, I would say that's probably the main thing. Is you know roller skating, bikes, things like that. Yeah. I can't do. But you know what? There's more important things than that. So Randolph had the best. Right. They uh, sent their children to there. We lived there. Mm -hmm. And um, they, it's called, it was called the CHAP program, and I'm not sure what the acronym are. Okay. But um, you go there, and they have water therapy. They have all kinds of therapists. That, and that was a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> that was back in the 60s and 70s. Yeah. So they didn't have what they do today. Now, what therapy did they do for you, for Randolph? Well, I did a lot of, there's just a lot of stretches and stuff for the legs and the arms and um, taught me my coordination one time <laughs> one time mom said that we went and they were talking about cutting the Achilles and straight and I thought that 
I did only heard part of it, I guess, because I thought they were going to cut my legs off. But as you can see, they have not, and everything worked out really well. Did they well. cut the Achilles tendon? No. Okay. No, they didn't have to do that, okay. but they had to, they do a lot, did a lot with the legs, okay. the legs mainly. Okay. How long did it take, how much, how, how long did it take the therapy to, for, to improve your functions? I wore braces and I started, I got out of my braces, I believe I was 12. So I wore them day and night from age two or three to 12. Okay. And how old were you when you went to Randolph? Um, first grade. First grade. Mm -hmm. Now tell me again about the teacher. What did the teacher do? Well, it, like I said, it would be a no-no now, but she was just wonderful. She had me come up in front of the class and just introduce me. You know, because, I mean, that was first grade. I was scared to death anyway. I didn't know anybody. And uh, she told me that these were my braces and these were going to be my legs. And we, um, she told the kids, she said, this is going to help her walk. There's, it doesn't mean, you know, cause she was concerned with the bullying and stuff. And then she had the kids ask me questions, and this lasted the whole day. And the next day, though, I felt like, Mom, I can't wait to go to school. I've got all my new friends. And, you know, it, was, it really made a difference yes. in my life. Yes, okay. So I was just so blessed to have... Her and many, many teachers. She wasn't, I've had many teachers here too that were just wonderful. But that's an experience I'll never forget. Okay. Now, how does cere cerebral palsy affect you today? You know, I really don't have any, I mean, I've got a lot of physical problems, but yeah. it doesn't have anything to do with cerebral palsy. Okay. So I've just, we've just kind of overcome and done the best we can. And I showed Chloe some exercises and stuff that might help her. Yeah. and. It's just a cycle. So they literally rewired the brain. Right. Yes. Okay. And that that was just a wonderful way to put it. It's just you you teach other parts that can't do something how to do it and so Okay. okay. Uh what did you do after high school? Well, I went um by that time I was there you couldn't stop me. <laughs> um but I've I've had I've only had a couple of jobs in my life, and um, I went to um, Rose State, and I went to UCO, and then I went back to Rose State to work, and I've worked there. I'm retired now. I just retired in June. Haven't got to enjoy it yet because I've been sick, but we're going to get there. I know yeah, we will. Yeah. Um, but I've worked at Rose State for over 30 years. What'd you do there? I worked in payroll. Payroll. I worked several different other places, but payroll, I was there for probably 15 years, so that was that was my niche. Okay. I'm terrible with math, don't know how I ended up <laughs> in payroll, but we got her done. <laughs> okay, now, so you got your degree in what setting? I don't have a degree. Oh, yeah. I'm, well, I've got my associates, okay. and then I've just got a few more, few more hours to get my bachelor's at UCO, but I've been, I've had heart and all kinds of different things that I've been sick with and I had to keep dropping out so I just decided yeah. we're just going to take them day at a time. So, so I haven't got back yet. Your associate's degree is in accounting? No, my associate's degree is in psychology. Psychology. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Now, the heart problem, is that due to cerebral palsy? I don't think so. Nothing's ever been, I mean, I've got heart, I've got Crohn's, I've got... Um, just a, a bunch of different things. Yeah. Um, you know, arthritis, don't we all? But, <laughs> but it just, it, I don't think it has anything to do with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it may be because my immune system, you know, is just shot. With, but nothing we can't handle. Why is your immune system? See, I don't know. I mean, I've, like I said, I've got, well, my immune system is from the Crohn's. But I've got Crohn's, and I've had heart, and I've had cancer. They've taken out my colon and all that good stuff. But nothing has been proven to be related okay. to anything else. Now what is Crohn's disease? What is that? What is that? Okay, it's an autoimmune disease. It ex your stomach. You just you can't digest, which is not good. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we're a lot better than we were for a while. Yeah. It takes a long time to diagnose and. 
And that supposedly runs in siblings, and my sister has it too. But it, ours are, it's weird because we can eat totally different things. Yeah. But no, nothing that's good for you. No lettuce, no beans, no this, no that. So we just do the best we can. <laughs> So sound like you've had a pretty good life. Oh, I've had a wonderful life. Yes. I've been so blessed. Yes. And what the blessing to me is, one of the more recent, is being able to watch Chloe grow and to help her grow into the young lady yes. that she's become. Yes, now this is your niece. Yes. 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 Well, we're going to talk to her in a few minutes. Yes, yes. We're, we're very, very close. And mm -hmm. She calls me Friendy, so I call her Friendy. <laughs> we've just got a special bond because we've had a lot of things yes. that a lot of other people haven't had together. Yes. So what are you doing now? Now I'm just trying to get well. <laughs> um, I've retired in June, and I do a lot of, and I haven't lately, but I do a lot of volunteer work for a lot of different things. I just just so fulfilling. I'm not able to work with my, what all I've got going on physically right now. I'm hoping to be able to get there okay. eventually, but right now I'm not, um, not only am I not strong enough, I just don't have any stamina, like yeah. my stomach. When you've got Crohn's, you never know when you're gonna. Now your sister mentioned you had drop foot, your, your feet when you, uh, were, when you were yeah. young. Yeah. What is drop foot? Well, it's just, it's kind of all related to, um, from what I understand, it's kind of all related to... Um, the cerebral palsy. Mm -hmm. yes. And right now, we went to the beach not too long ago, and I, we hadn't gone on vacation, excuse me, in forever. And uh, I got back, and my feet were really bothering me. I went to the doctor, and... I broke three toes and I don't have a clue when. I don't feel any pain. <laughs> so, so we, you know, you just go on. <laughs> you just go on and do the best you can. But I just feel, I feel so blessed. My family's helped me along the way. I've had wonderful teachers, both in Oklahoma and the ones in Texas and therapists. And it's just been a wonderful okay. thing. So how does the cerebral palsy affect you today? It really doesn't. 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 Well, that's mm -mm. good. Nope. Yes. I don't see any, you know, I mean, I still can't roll it, but who cares? Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's still a few things that I can't do, but there's so many I can do, mm -hmm. you know? So that's how I look at it. Yes. Try to be positive. Mm -hmm. Well, this is a very good interview. Well, good, good. I want to thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime. And again, oh, this, oh. This is September 13th, 2022. My name is Joe Todd, and this has been an interview with Tammy Martin in Oklahoma City. Thank you, Joe Todd. I appreciate Thank you. you. <laughs>